reason we're putting it in a glass is if you keep putting it back into that marinade, you contaminate it. What we like to do is stay in the same hole, one direction, flip it the other way. You make too many holes, by the time you start filling it, it's squirting back at you. All up in the legs. Try to stay in the same hole. The main thing you got to do first of all is get this turkey to frost it well. You do not want to put a frosted or a frozen turkey into oil. It comes back at you. That's not a good thing. What we like to do is get the turkey a few days in advance and then put it in the ice chest with ice and let it defrost on its own. And that way you don't have to worry about your turkey spoiling. I also like to take uh, about a half a bottle of Tabasco and add to this if you want to give it a little bit more pop. It's really good. Being from this part of the country, most of us like a little pop. All right, now I'm going to put some Cajun on it now. Now you see, I didn't use everything, but if I'd have used the whole bottle, I'd have to throw it all away. This is King Cooker Cajun seasoning with green onions. And we like this the best, certainly. It's ours, but number one. But number two, it's very good. Some of the best. Now, all Norm's doing is sprinkling this Cajun seasoning all over the bird. You don't have to be too thick with it, but you want enough to cover it well. And as you move the bird around, you're going to lose some of it. So what we do is do both sides, under the wings, inside and out, put it on the rack and then sprinkle a little more. Just like salt and pepper. You don't want to do it too early either because it cakes, you know, so right before you drop it in is the best time to do it. You want to put him on the rack, legs up. Just like so. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more on him because we've lost a little bit moving him around. But you can't put too much or too little. It's what you like. Everybody sees the levels? That's your maximum level, so never go over that. We're going to pour that to that level, and we're going to light the cooker and get it up to 350 degrees. Now that'll take a few minutes. See on the thermometer, there's a red line, 350. You get over that red line or get into that red line, that's the danger zone. Fire hazard. Also has a stop where it can't go all the way around. This is the type of oil we like to use, rice land, but any oil will work. Vegetable oil, peanut oil, not pen's oil, okay? <laughs> Now we mentioned before, we don't fry with a lid on. And there's two reasons. When you put that thermometer in and you drop the bird in, if you stick it in that th uh, bird, that reading's not right. And for some reason this thermometer wasn't working correctly and you had this covered and this oil is smoking and starting to get up, the minute you lift it, that oxygen would make that oil go in flames. So we like to not use a lid. Now today, it's a high pressure burner, 33,000 BTUs, what I'm trying to do is bring the oil up to 350 degrees, when I do that, I cook the turkey three and a half minutes per pound. I think the best size turkeys are 14, 15 pound range, bigger than that, I don't think they taste as good. So I like to stay 12 to 14 pounds. No, you can do a 20 pound uh, bird in this pot. But the problem with that is the breasts cook long before, at least the wings cook long before the breast. So the wings get kind of crunchy. Whereas a 14, say 12 to 14 pounds, is more even, I think. Just using a mitt, because it splashes and you could get burned. 
always have protection. We want to go in slow. The best thing to do is move the thermometer. Let the cavity fill. Slow. See how well it's defrosted though? It's not popping all at all. Alright, we put the bird in at 350 degrees. The temperature drops some, but we start our time in there. Three and a half minutes per pound, and we let it build back up to 350. At that point, we take it out, we check the thighs, and if the thighs are not bloody, it's done. Because the thighs are the last spot to cook. And that's pretty much it. Good frying.